Welcome to the video course Implementing AI to Play Games by Pact Publishing. My name is Devangini Patel and I've been researching in AI since 2013. I have developed various industrial and research-based AI solutions related to computer vision, machine learning and robotics. I have been growing my knowledge in AI and I'm excited to share it with you. This video is a complete overview of the video course in which you will learn advanced AI algorithms to search for solutions in specific cases. In section 1, we will learn about constraint satisfaction problem search while developing coloring application. In our application of coloring problem, the aim is to color different states of a map in different colors. For example, let's assume this map with six different states, state 1, state 2, state 3, state 4, state 5, and state 6. And we can color these states like this. In this application, the constraint is that two neighboring states can't be of the same color. Bear in mind, a solution must satisfy all the constraints. So it's possible that while searching with constraints, we might not always get a solution. State is where the search process is at. So we define a state for constraint satisfaction problem. After this, to formulate the search problem, we define the three main ingredients for constraint satisfaction problem search, initial state, successor function, and goal function. Then we learn how to represent constraints pictorially using a constraint graph. We will then see how search tree visualization has to be modified in constraint satisfaction problem search so that the state is drawn in each node of the search tree. Then we move on with transforming depth first search to backtracking search. And we will see how this works for our application. Heuristics is a guess or estimate of which node would lead to the goal state faster than others. It is a strategy to reduce the number of nodes explored and reach the goal state faster. In this section, we will learn about three heuristics for constraint satisfaction problem search. To further optimize constraint problem search, we will explore two ways to prune the search trees. Forward checking and arc consistency. Finally, we will have an algorithm for the coloring application. In section two, we will learn about game search while developing a game which allows humans to play against the algorithm we develop. In this section, we will be developing an algorithm to play tic-tac-toe game. First, we will understand the basics of the game. Then we will realize that the aim of game search is to find the best move. We will learn how to represent a game move. Similar to constraint satisfaction problem, we will see how to formulate the search problem for games by defining state, initial state, successor function, and goal function. In game search, we have one more ingredient which answers the question, which move is the best? This ingredient is the evaluation function. And we will learn how to compute that for tic-tac-toe game. We move one step forward in game search by learning about depth limited search and how that is used in game search. Then we learn how to visualize search trees for game search. Now that our foundation is set, we will learn about minimax search and how that works for tic-tac-toe game to find the best move. After this, we develop the GUI for this game and integrate the algorithm we just developed into the GUI. To optimize game search, we will learn about alpha beta pruning, which will prune the game search tree branches. Finally, at the end of the section, we will have a cool game that you can play against the computer player. In section three, we will learn about evolutionary search while developing N Queen's puzzle. At the end of that section, you will try to develop an application by yourself. In N Queen's puzzle, we have an N by N chess board, and we need to place N Queens on the board so that no queen attacks another queen. Note that queens attack each other horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Evolution is the change in characteristics of a population over generations. It favors traits suited for survival. This theory explains how apes evolved into humans. Charles Darwin wrote the phrase, survival of the fittest in his book, Origin of the Species to describe the natural selection process happening in nature. According to this theory, fitter individuals will last longer to pass on traits to the next generation. 
Evolutionary search is inspired from the biological process of evolution. In evolutionary search, a population consists of potential solutions. And a better solution has higher chances of passing on its traits to the next generation of solutions. Evolutionary search consists of many ingredients and we will cover each of them in detail. We will learn how to represent an individual we will also learn how to evaluate the fitness of an individual and see how that is used in selecting parents. Once we know how to select parents, we will learn how reproduction works in evolutionary search. Later, we will discuss a few strategies to terminate evolutionary search and find our solution. Finally, we will have an algorithm that solves N. Queen's puzzle. At the end, you will try to practice the concepts you would have learned in this section by developing a trip planner application by yourself. In this course, you will learn algorithms for specific searching, constraint satisfaction problem search for applications with constraints, game search for games, and evolutionary search for computationally hard problems. You will learn how to formulate the problems for different applications, and you will understand how to translate the search algorithms into code with supporting data structures, classes, and visualization. Finally, you will also learn how to optimize these algorithms using different heuristics and pruning methods. For this course, you would need basic Python programming skills and basic maths knowledge. In addition, it would be helpful to have some basic knowledge in AI, particularly depth first search. So let's begin our journey into AI together. I hope to see you in the next video.